What is going on guys, Nando Prince 93 here with another video. I've been seeing a lot of people talk about this company called Luna Display, right? So what Luna Display does is it basically allows you to have your iPad become a second monitor to your Apple computer, right? I've seen a lot of videos of people taking their uh, Mac minis and making their iPad Pro their primary you know, monitor. And it makes it look really cool because you can use Mac OS on an iPad, which is something that we haven't been able to do yet, right? What I tried to do was look for alternatives because Luna Display is a $70 kind of accessory and application combo. And I mean, from what I hear, it works very, very well, right? But again, it's still 70 bucks. So I wanted something that was quicker, right? So I didn't have to wait for shipping and cheaper. So the best alternative that I found so far is this app called Duet, right? Duet Display. So basically all you need is the app itself is $10 for both um, the iPad app and the desktop app, right? You just gotta pay the $10 once, and then you need a USB-C to Lightning, or USB-C to USB-C, depending on the iPad that you have, right? So this is the first gen iPad Pro. This is my MacBook Pro 15 inch. So if you don't have a micro U or a Lightning to USB-C, then you probably have to buy one on Amazon, so that's another. I got the two of these for 10 bucks, for $11, so that'll add another 10 bucks to the purchase, or to the whole price of this solution. Right, so it still beats 70 bucks so that Luna Display has. All you have to do is you plug one side in to the iPad, the other side to the USB-C port on your MacBook. And all you have to do is open up Duet. And there's your second display, guys, right? I pressed don't trust because I don't want it to charge. So as you can see, there's my Mac, my Mac on the left. And it works pretty well. I'm, I'm, I would say if Luna Display is a 10 in terms of like fluidity and no lag, right, in terms of what it's using, I would make, I would say this is an eight and a half, right? And for the price, I think it's perfect because what I use it mainly for is like, I'll have an Excel sheet on here and then doing data entry, right? I'm not doing too many things where I'm moving the screen around like a crazy, crazy amount. So for instance, if you really do wanna test the limits and like spin it around, you'll see like a little bit of lag, but again, it's nothing out of this world. I, I like this a lot, it's a great solution, it's a plug-in solution, you don't need Wi-Fi, right? There is, with Duet, I think there is an option to subscribe monthly, and I think it's five, ten dollars a month to be able to use the Wi-Fi portion of it, so maybe you don't need the cord, but I like the cord because as you're physically plugged in, you know, there's options for you to be able to, you can add the touch bar to the screen. So down here, because you, you can see there's a touch bar now. I usually don't because I have my own touch bar. Go to advanced settings, you can change the resolution. Um, and then if you go to your actual settings, like your display settings, because your computer just thinks this is a display, you can change pretty much anything, right? So the arrangement, so move it to this side. So now it's normal, more fluid, because it is on my right side. It's very, very easy. I love this because it's, again, I'm working from home today. I can have this kind of like mobile dual monitor setup. I got my 12.9 inch, my 15 inch, and it's everything that I need. So I think Duet is a great alternative to Luna Display. Again, I haven't tried Luna Display. I'm not associated with Duet at all. I bought it, it was $9.99 for the app. I bought two USB-C to Lightning cables, $10. So I spent $20 on the whole package. And it's a one-time purchase. And if I get a new iPad, I just re-download it. If I get a new MacBook, I re-download it. I like, I like this solution a lot. And if you already have a USB-C to Lightning because you already have, have a fast charger going on, then it's just a $10 uh, application, which beats, again, a $70 Lunar Display. And that's an actual physical piece of hardware, too, that you plug into your MacBook Pro. And supposedly, you need a very, very strong Wi-Fi connection. So if I'm at home, I'm sure Lunar Display would work perfectly. But if I and maybe in a place like this where there's like a public Wi-Fi, I'm not gonna trust it too much. One thing that I heard about Luna Display, which was a little bit maybe better than Duet, is the pen functionality, right? So you can technically use your pencil, but it's not super amazing. As you guys can see, there's a little bit of lag behind, right? So again, I don't really use the pencil when I have it on this dual monitor setup because it's more for, let me put one, you know, piece of data over here, another piece of data over here, and figure out what I'm doing. Maybe I'll have my emails on this side while I'm on Chrome and Excel on this side using my CRM. So it's, it's all based on what you need. 
Like, I'm not drawing on this. I'm not using Photoshop on the Mac OS on the iPad. If I want to do that, I'll just open up my my uh, Lightroom application, or I'll open up my Luma, Luma Fusion application to edit videos. Um, this could also work for, if you do want to have, if you do use Final Cut Pro, you can use this as your second display just so it's playing video. Just know that it'll be, you know, a split second behind of what's exactly going on on this side. Again, it all depends on what you need. But for 10 bucks, it's very hard to say that this is not a good purchase. I love it. I use it every single day. It's got the pencil support if you really need it. The lag isn't crazy. And it's a hard, hard work, you know, plug-in, right? USB-C to lightning. So I just want to make that quick video for you guys. Um, very easy to implement, very easy to do. Uh, if you guys want more information, I'll link them below. And don't forget to comment, like, subscribe, guys, for more future tech videos and reviews. Peace.